Isaiah chapter 58 and 12. And they that be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repair of the breach, the restore of paths to dwell in. I want to give all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I wanted to speak on the rebuilding of the Tabernacle of David, which is happening right before the eyes of the world. Okay, as the Lord said to these devils that he would set us in order right before his eyes. And that's what's happening via the Holy Spirit. Okay, which the Holy Spirit can't be bought in the store. The Holy Spirit can't be taught in the classroom. The Holy Spirit has to come from on high, man. And the Holy Spirit has entered into particular men, okay, to stand on their feet in these latter days and preach this word. And as the word is being preached, okay, our people are being comforted, man. Okay, the remnant. Okay, starting with the men, then you have the women, and then you have the children whom the Lord is going to have mercy on, man. But it all starts with the tabernacle of David, the 144,000 being raised up and sealed with the instruction of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and through Yahweh Shai sitting on the right hand side, sending down blessings, sending down gifts, we're able to restore the paths of the ancient way that our people may see. Okay, as the Lord said, he would not leave us comfortless, man. Okay, and these devils are moving in haste to try to establish their new world order because they see exactly what's happening through the spirit and they're trying to cut this word off. Okay, as the scriptures say, they want the waters of the afflicted to fail. Okay, so I'm going to read this again. This is Isaiah chapter 58 and 12. It says, and they that be of thee, meaning the offspring, okay, of the nation of Israel, which is ultimately the remnant, those who will return unto obedience here in these latter days, shall build the old waste places. And we're going to show you that that old waste place is the tabernacle of David, man, because we've been wasted as a nation, okay? We, we're, we're afflicted, we're poor. You know, everything was taken from us, man. We had no culture. We had no understanding of uh, who our power was. We had no understanding of who we were. You see, we had no understanding of why all of the uh, 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 terrible things that the Lord brought upon us, you know, happened, you know, but through the Holy Spirit, now we have that understanding, man which is above anything that this world can give us, man. Okay? And thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, man. Meaning the nation of Israel is being restored right before our eyes because you have to understand these devils have put trillions and trillions of dollars and energy into making sure that the name of Israel would no longer be known amongst us, man. Okay? They put drugs in our neighborhood. They put chemicals and all sorts of things in our our food, man. They studied our DNA day in and day out and went into their labs and made sure everything that was around us was infested with, with filth and chemicals that would throw us off, that would take us down, that would destroy our pineal gland, man, which would, would destroy our, our connection with our power, man. Drugs, crack cocaine. Okay, they infested our music because music is a big part of our culture. So they infested the music, put billions of dollars into the music industry to infest us and destroy our minds, man. Hollywood. Okay, the air quality, the water quality where we are, it's all destroyed, man. But as the scriptures say, we're like into a, a, a rose. Okay, that that's basically uh, budded out of the concrete, man. The impossible has happened, man. The repair, and thou shall be called the repair of the breach, the restore of the past to dwell in. And that starts with Yahweh Shai, but it's also through the men who he sends the Holy Spirit unto in these latter days. Okay, the priestess word, man. And I'm going to go back to that, but let's go to Isaiah 44, which is one of my favorite scriptures. If you watch my videos, I bring this out a, a, a lot because, you know, ultimately... 
This is happening right now, man. This is Isaiah 44 and 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Okay? Thus saith the Ahawah that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. You see? And we need that help. Okay? Fear not. And see, the help starts with us returning back unto him. Okay? And big things come from the faith of the elect. Salvation starts in the mind of the elect. Okay? Once the elect is sealed with that uh, uh, understanding, man, there's nothing that's going to stop the nation of Israel, man. And Esau knows that. Okay? That's why he's switching up YouTube. You, you'll be watching an a Israelite video, and the next thing you know, Joel Osteen or T.D. Jakes or some folly will pop up on an autoplay, man. It's hard to find videos now. Okay, uh, one of the brothers was showing me, we've done, I mean, <laughs> hundreds of thousands of video on John 3.16, yet when you search GMS John 3.16, only a few of those videos pop up, whereas back in the day, you'd be able to search it and they all pop up. So they're hiding the videos, they're, they're destroying particular pages, terminating particular uh, uh, pages and videos. You know, as, as, as you brothers and sisters may know, my page, uh, GMS Sharm of Judah 777 was terminated out of nowhere. I got one strike for a video going into some history, the history of the sons of God, you know, Noah, you know, Shem, you know, just history. It wasn't any uh, derogatory speech. It wasn't talking about the enslavement of the heathen. But what did they do? They, they, they struck it and then all of a sudden the page is gone, man. Okay, the page is gone. So it says, fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Yasharan, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. You see that? The dry ground represented the waste city, the waste desolate place, which is the nation of Israel in these latter days. We would be a dry ground as the scriptures liken us into what? Dry bones, man. Okay, dry bones. And what it, well, why were we dry bones? Because we, lo we lost the understanding, man. And then the particular people who were set up to guide us were set up by the enemy. So that, that, that took us even further into a sleep. Okay, but the Lord intervened via the Holy Spirit. And now look, okay, the water has been poured upon the thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. And I will pour my spirit upon thy sea. See, these are all similitudes to what's happening here in the planet Earth, man. Okay? As this, uh, what's, what's that uh, nigga, Tupac? Which he's not a prophet and he's definitely not the Messiah. But I'm not even going to go there. You know, it's a particular folly being spoken amongst a lot of these uh, uh, demons. You know, and that's only a sign to let us know that we're, we're pretty much at the end, man. We're, 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 we're at the very end of this thing and the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. But as we get closer and closer to the end, we're going to uh, uh, have to <laughs> endure more and more weirdos and bug outs, man. Okay. But that's a part of this whole thing. But I will pour my spirit as Tupac said, what did he say? Uh, I'm liking him to a rose that come out of the concrete. Well, the true rose that's b birthed out of the uh, concrete, the true lily, which is the Lord's favorite flower that is birthed out of the concrete, out of that dry ground, are the Israelites. We're the miracle. Okay, everybody's looking for a sign. How do you guys know you're the Israelites? Well, the, the our faith is proof. That's all we need. The Holy Spirit being, being put and placed upon the dry grounds, the desolate places, is all we need to know that we're the Israelites. We're doing exactly what the scripture said the Israelites would be doing in the latter days, man after the destruction and the desolate uh, uh, way we were raised and, and, and beaten and destroyed as a nation, man. And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. You see that? And they shall spring up, all right, as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. Out of that dry ground has come willows, grass, life. We're bearing fruit. One shall say, I am Yahweh's, another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh and surname himself by the name of Yasha'Allah. Okay, and that's what's happening right here, right now, before the face of the world, man. Okay, what's that, uh, Psalm 64? 
or Psalms 50. Maybe Psalms 50. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Isaiah 50 and 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frame it deceit. And everything you devils have taught us has been mischief, deceit, lies, a way to keep us from the truth, man. The water, you how about Shemir Shah for the Holy Spirit? Because if, if, if it was all left up to you devils, we would remain in that dead state. We'll remain following after a uh, 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 so-called white Jesus. We, we remain following after all of these different idols and philosophies that can do us no good. We would never return to our true nationality. We would never return to our true heritage, man, which the scriptures say we would discontinue from our heritage. Okay, but the house of David is being rebuilt right before the eyes of you devils. And there's nothing you can do about it, man. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. And this whole setup is based upon the slandering of Jacob. It's written and embedded within the system of Edomite supremacy that the Israelites are low-level demons, savages with low IQs and stupid, man. And it's in our DNA to be on the bottom. And, with, and through that pseudoscience, it's been embedded in everybody's mind that something's wrong with us. <laughs> the bell curve and all of these different things, man. Vanity. Things you've pulled out of thin air through witchcraft, man. You've been able to make a, 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 a fact in everybody's mind about us and about you. But now the tides are turning and everybody is starting to look at you devils, man. And the rest of you heathen are confused. Psalms 50 and 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and you're being reproved. You Edomites are being reproved. All of you heathen are being reproved, man. And you're trying to hide it. You know, to act as if you're not in, in straits, but you're in straits. We know you're in straits. We know you're worried. Okay? Got people staying up till four in the morning, getting paid, sleepy, tired, looking for videos. You're, you're, you're sick. And set them in order before thine eyes. You see that? We're being set in order right before your eyes, man. Okay? Going back to Isaiah, the 58th chapter. In the twelfth verse, and they that be of thee shall build the old waste places, and thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repair of the breach, the restorer of the past to dwell in. So I'm going to go to Amos the ninth chapter. <clears throat> Amos the ninth chapter, in the eleventh verse, and that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. You see that? The tabernacle of David that is fallen, man. The true prophets, the true men of the Lord would be raised up. Okay? The, the David, the name David, Dawada, it means beloved. Okay? The beloved of the Heavenly Father have been raised up right before the eyes of this whole world, man. After this devastating blow we took as a nation, the Lord, having mercy upon, has sent the Holy Spirit unto particular men. It's the men... It starts with the men of Israel, man, and not just all men, but the 144,000 men, okay? That's the order. Under Yahawashai, you have the tabernacle of David, man, which is the, 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 the preachers, man, those who have the new song, okay? Those who follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, man, and a lot of those men are on the earth at this very time preaching this word, man. Right before your eyes. And it's not the most beautiful sight in the flesh, but in spirit, it's changing the world. I was watching the Elder Kazak's video, man. Okay? And he says something very powerful in this video. What did he say? He said, the world is changing right before our eyes because of the preaching of this word, man. Okay? The, 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 the afflicted and poor who, who were castaways and, and, and dead and... You know, the, the, the worst of the worst now are being raised up right before the eyes of the whole world. And the whole world is reacting to it. And they don't even know they're reacting to it. But the elites know. 
<laughs> but the preaching of this word is changing the whole course of the world. The whole vibration feels different. And they're trying to hide it. They're trying to stop it. But it won't be stopped. Now, eventually you can stop YouTube. Eventually you can take down the videos. But you can never destroy the Holy Spirit. You can never destroy prophecy. You can never stop what's eventually to come to your asses, man. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle, the house, and the tabernacle that Moses built was symbolic of what? What was in the heavens. You see, Moses built the first tabernacle, and then David had too much blood on his hands to, to build a house and tabernacle for the Lord. So Solomon built it, which is symbolic of what Yahawashai is doing in these latter days, rebuilding the tabernacle of David, the spiritual house, the spiritual temple where the Lord will dwell and where he will issue forth his judgment from, man. That's why we're known as heavenly Jerusalem. Okay? The tabernacle of David. Where did the tabernacle dwell once Solomon built it? Okay? Uh, 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 in, in Jerusalem, man. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen and close up the breaches thereof and how would he do that? Through the preaching of this word. And I will raise up his ruins. Let's look up this word, ruins. I never looked that word up. ha ra ya sa ha ra ya sa It says ruin. <laughs> Let's go to the root word. ha ra sa ha ra it says to tear down, to break down, to overthrow, to beat down, to break through, destroy, pluck down. Okay, and it's not what this is is not that what happened to the nation of Israel through these various different captivities, and this one being the last one. We've been torn down to the point where our people don't even see that uh, a, 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 a possibility of them being chosen when we tell them. You've been beaten down. We were bro broken away from that righteous way. We were pulled down. We were separated from our power. Because when you read in history, whenever the Israelites were on one accord with their power, nothing could stop them. Look at when we were on our way from the Holy Land uh, at the time of Joshua, on, on our way to the Holy Land at the time of Joshua. We were so much in the spirit that the heathen said, we have to throw a stumbling block in their way. We have to get their minds off of Yahweh and they what, what did they do uh do through Baal Peor a freaky uh, uh the god of the opening and Jake became open to all of these different other gods the heathen love to see you in a dumbed down state man and a lot of you Jakes think these heathen like you because they like that rap music man but when you go to to their people they don't raise their people up upon that them them principles they just like the way the shit sound you actually live these things, man. And these heathen are laughing at you. Dancing with you to DMX or, or whatever the hell, uh, uh, Tupac or whatever the hell it was. Because all of these men, all right, though some of the music were, was good, you know, when you listen to it and to the flesh, it destroyed our spirit, man. A lot of these men are talented, but they've been used by, the, by Satan, by the left hand, set up by Esau. To destroy you, Jakes. So we were tore down, man, on various in various different ways. Even the people who we look to for leadership were set up to tear us down, man. So now, through the Holy Spirit entering into that tabernacle, which is the 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 the, the body of the elect, okay, the, the the tabernacle of David, the minds of the elect being raised up. We're, 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 we're raising up, the Lord is raising up the tabernacle of David that is falling and closing up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. You see? Now this is proof here that no heathen will be saved, because when David assumed his throne, he rejoiced over the downfall of the heathen. He rejoiced from being delivered from two-thirds, man. You see? that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith Yahweh that doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that 
that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes him that sowed seed and the mountain shall drop sweet wine in the hills and all the hills shall melt all of the the governments of these of this world of this current age are going to be melted man but that's going to all happen starting with the tabernacle of david being rebuilt man and the tabernacle of david are an afflicted and poor people man and when you look at the believers when you look at the men who are being raised up all throughout the four corners of the earth we're very afflicted and poor people man and that's very, very, and that's the very proof that we are the tabernacle of David, man. Now, this is once David finally got to escape from Saul and eventually assumed the throne, man. This is 1 Samuel 22 and 1. And David, therefore, departed thence and escaped the cave of Adullam because he was hiding. He had to hide, man. Was he a coward? <laughs> And escaped uh, to the cave of Adullam, and when his brother and when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. See that? That was his ride or die. And here's the point: in everyone that was in distress, <laughs> in everyone that was in debt, in everyone that was discontented. Okay, let's look up that word. <laughs> let's look up that word real quick. Everyone that was in distress, we're going to look at that one first. Uh, ma Tazawak. All right. Strange. Uh, uh, straightness. We're in straits. We're going through the straight gate. We're distressed upon every side, man. But we're not forsaken. You see? We're, we're, we're looked at as the filth and the offscurring of the world, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's get that. Man, I start at seven just for the sake of time. Second Corinthians four and seven. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. See, the Lord dwells with us, but in this earthen vessel. You see, but it's the spirit that he has enlightened and endowed the understanding upon. But we're in these earthen vessels, man. You see, and the Lord wanted it to be that way. He wanted us to look beat down and broke down. That's the power of the Lord. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. So we're not here to present ourselves. We're not here to present our outwardly appearance. We're not here to present you, you know, our fleshly uh, story and all of these various different things. We are the sign. The faith of the elect is the sign, man. That's all we need. We are troubled upon every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. This is the tabernacle of David, man. The true believers, the church of Yahweh Shai, man. Of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. You see? And now the whole nation of Israel is going through this. But it's the elect that are going to return. And bear the burden of being fools for Hamashiach's sake. To get everything restored back to righteousness, man. We're doing the dirty work. You see, when you see a large castle, you know, after it's finished, everybody's like, wow. That's a beautiful castle, man. Look at that. You know? But 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 nobody saw the 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 dirty work and the hard labor that it took to ultimately get that castle to where it was, man. The foundational work. You see? And those are the men whom the Lord are going to reward, man. <laughs> Persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed, always bearing, okay, about the body of the dying of Yahweh Shai, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our body. So we're going through what Yahweh Shai went through. We're afflicted. Okay, we, you know, Yahweh Shai... <laughs> You know, it was through his, you know, through the Most High gave him the order to create this whole world along with the holy angels, the Alahayim. He had to come to the very earth and be a slave under the Roman Empire because Judea was a province of the Roman Empire and his own creation, man. 
You see? <laughs> so then death worketh in us, but life in you. So we got to go through this hell, man. We got to go through this hell, man. So that the tabernacle of David can be rebuilt. But we're in straits. We're distressed. We're in anguish. We're stressed out. And a lot of people don't know the stress and the hell that the men of the Lord go through. You just see the videos. You see? Now, some of you understand. Brothers have ailments. Brothers have things that they have to deal with in their, their, their personal lives. But you're constantly fed with the, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And we're behind enemy lines on the front lines pushing this truth, man. And our own people are the main ones coming up against us, man. But now the devil is coming. You see? So the, the, those who join themselves unto David, his ride or die click, the ragtag men, <laughs> all right? They were distressed. They were in debt. Let's look up this word debt. Nasha, to lend interest or usury to be a creditor. <laughs> we're, we're in debt. You see, the true followers of David were, were catching hell, man. You see, in everyone that was discontented, let's look up this word, discontented. Mara, which is where you get the word mer, or Maria, Mary, bitter. You see that? The root word marar, to bitter, to show bitter, to make bitter, to be enraged. But at the end, you said it's to be strong and strengthened because that bitterness strengthens us, man. Bitterly. Okay? And we understand the position that we're in is because of our rebellion, but we're returning unto righteousness so let's read this again everyone that was in distress <clears throat> and everyone that was in debt and everyone that was discontented gathered themselves unto him to david and he became captain over them so david's house started with what and there were with him about 400 men 400 ragtag lowly beat down stressed out Debt, uh, uh, <laughs> filled with debt, you know, because they were tired of Saul's rulership. They seen the wickedness that was going on. They were in hell from the Philistines. You see, so this is the true house of David, and this is how it would all start. From a beat down, discontented people who trusted in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man, and they followed David, man. He became captain over them. Now, if you saw those men today, you'd be like, ugh, those aren't the men of the Lord. But that's the very thing that the Heavenly Father wants the world to believe and think, man. Okay? Let's get that in the first Chronicles, man. First Corinthians. This is First Corinthians chapter 1. In 26, for ye see your calling, brethren, how not that many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, man. So the Lord, you know, now you may have a few brothers who uh, uh, who pretty much made it in this world, who, you know, put down that world and repent. All right. You may have people, you, you may have a few people who had, you know, things who were noble in this world who, who, who repented. But the overall majority of the brothers and sisters that are going to wake up are going to be from nothing, man. And that's the power of the Most High through Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord didn't want to raise up 144,000 or, 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 the, or the remnant to be every, a bunch of people who were, had the riches of this world, man, who had worldly fame. If the Lord started to raise up men like Jay-Z, okay, uh, Puff Daddy, okay, uh, 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 or whoever else of this world, all right, uh, uh, Edris Elba, then everybody will follow, man. You'd have everybody saying, we the Israelites. If the white man himself gave, uh, uh, started putting shows on the, 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 the TV and 
movies that we're the true Israelites. Everybody will start to follow it because he has clout in this world. But no, the Lord is going to raise up the beaten down, afflicted, and poor people so that the true message will be of the power of the word and not of outwardly appearance. So the Lord says, you're calling, brethren, not many wise after the flesh. Now, some brothers have made it and went through Esau's school system, you know, uh, you know, got particular degrees, you know, but even within that, you didn't learn a goddamn thing. You see, the true wisdom came from when we uh, uh, saw and heard the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That was the Lord endowing us with the Holy Spirit because I went through this devil's school systems, man. Now, it was a black college, so-called black college, but those were all founded by Edomites to keep you in a deep sleep. You see? <laughs> all of these things are set up by the devil to keep us down, man. Master's degree. In debt, but didn't know a goddamn thing. Was walking around the planet Earth, lost. Eating ham. Hopping up and down for some goddamn fraternity lost in a gentile state of mind but guess what the heavenly father woke us all up from the dead things that we were in and gave us life man we were lost man but that's the power of yahweh bashimi i was shy man call hello yahweh bashimi i was shy man and that's the tabernacle of david the gentiles who would be awakened and put down those idols man that's the conclusion they came to. Let's get that in Acts, the 13th chapter. Let's see here. Acts, the 15th chapter. Hold up. Acts, the 15th chapter, as these particular Gentiles were being added unto the church, okay, as we go down here, Acts 15 and 14, Simeon have declared how God at first did visit the Gentiles, okay, which are the Israelites who were scattered abroad, who took on these different philosophies. But when they heard the preaching of the word, they put down those philosophies and they cast them away as a mistress cloth, man to take out of them the people for his name and to this agree the words of the prophets as it was written after this so that th th it snapped in them that oh these believers these gentiles that we're preaching his word to that's the that's the you know the remnant that's going to be gathered now as you read this this very prophecy that we read in amos 9 and 11 is being fulfilled now it wasn't fulfilled back then but that was a part of it. Acts 15 and 16, after this I will return and I will build again the tabernacle of David which has fallen down and I will build again his ruins thereof and I will set it up. Now this chapter is a debate between the church over if the Gentiles had to keep all of the laws or not, you know, but ultimately, those Gentiles represented what? The tabernacle of David. And we are those Gentiles, brothers. We've been scattered abroad amongst all of these different nations, following after all of those different idols. But the Holy Spirit has been uh, uh, endowed upon us, and we're returning. Okay? That's why they said, verse right here, Acts 15 and 19, wherefore my sentence is that we trouble them not which from among the Gentiles are turned unto God. Because according to prophecy, the Israelites will be scattered among the Gentiles and we would learn their works, which would separate us from our power, man. But going back here, all right, I'm all over the place, but hey, that's the spirit. All right, uh, when you read prophecy, man, the prophets were all over the place, man. The, the way the Lord had the visions written down, and especially in Revelation, they were all over the place. It would be speaking of something that was going to happen before the other, the previous thing, and then it would speak of something that happened. At, it's, it's all over the place, man. Well, that's ultimately how the prophets are, man. You know? <laughs> you got to be in the spirit. 
You know, Lord willing, you get the understanding, man. Okay, first first Corinthians one and twenty six. For ye see, your calling, brethren, how not that many, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. You see, but God have called, hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and the weak things of the world are those. Gentiles, the, the tabernacle of David being risen up, okay, the beaten down, the afflicted and poor people, man, and have chosen in the base things of the world, and and things which are despised, and and, you, and when the Israelites are the most despised of the planet Earth, man, it's embedded in the minds of the entire planet Earth that something is wrong with us, that we're despised. Have God chosen. So the Lord chose the base things of the world. He didn't want the mighty. One of the main things that people say when they see us is, Ugh, look how y'all talk. Look how y'all look. How could that be uh, the, 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 the elect? How could you be the, the God's chosen people? Even amongst Israel. That's how they look at us. The bum camp. Look at their garments. But that's where the faith of the Lord dwells, man, with the with the lowly, with the beaten down, with the afflicted. That's how the Lord shows his power, man. Okay? Have God chosen, yea, the things which are not to bring to naught things that are. So all of the wisdom of Esau is being absolutely decimated through a bunch of ragtag men who are being raised up in these latter days. But it's not them. It's the spirit that is within them that is sent from Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, man. You see? And why does the Lord do this? Why does the Lord choose the foolish and weak things and things that are not? Here's the point, verse 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence. So the Lord doesn't want people to look at this platform and be wooed by the outwardly appearance, man. But the spirit of it is what the Heavenly Father wants the true believers to be wooed with, man. And that's what's happening right before the eyes of the world. The the the, the things that are are being confounded by the things that are, that are not, man. And that's those discontented, beat down, all right, men who are in debt and fed up with this world, man. That's the tabernacle of David. That's the true believers that are being raised up, man. We believe starting here with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that we're a part of that house, man. Okay? And the rest of the brothers who are in the right spirit preaching this word in sincerity and in truth, man. Okay? Let's see here. Let's get a few precepts. This is Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is what Yahweh Shai told us, man. Okay, and we are we are uh, uh, labor, man. We 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 are uh, we labor in this world, man. We're in subjection. We're subject to payments. Constantly living check to check. You know, through in the flesh, but in the spirit, we're renewed, man. <laughs> And this faith is going to cause us to, to, to have to suffer more and more as this world continues to wax into the end of it, man. The end of Esau's world, man. This faith is going to give us a lot of hell in this world. But the Lord is going to continuously work mighty works, which is going to strengthen the inward man. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's the tabernacle of David, man. Okay? And it says... Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let me get a few more precepts. And he was in the bitterness of his soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Let's see here. <clears throat> There's a few other precepts I wanted to get. Yeah, this is a good one. This is Psalm 72 and 12, speaking of Yahawashai, all right, which ultimately when you read this chapter is speaking of Solomon. But when you read it, you'll see it's speaking of Yahawashai. 
read that chapter when you get time and tell me, is that Solomon or Yahweh Shai? Or, or break it down, you know, for you guys who don't believe in Yahweh Shai, but believe in the Torah or the Old Testament only. We've yet to see that breakdown of Psalm 72. It says, for he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also in him that hath no helper. And in this world, we have no helper. There's no platform. Is Oprah Winfrey putting forth money to, to help the Israelites? Is, 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 is there a cry to help the chosen people of the Lord with this platform? No. So it's basically like David going up against Goliath, man. It seems impossible, but we have our rock. We have our stone, man, which is Yahweh Shai, man. And that's all we need. David put off the uh, 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 the um, mortal armor, man. Okay? He put off the carnal armor. He said, I don't need this. Okay? And the Lord helped him. He said, he shall spare the poor and needy and shall save the souls of the needy. And that's us, man. He shall redeem their soul from the deceit and violence and Precious shall be their shall their blood be in his sight, man. Okay. It says, but when Yahweh Shai heard that, he said unto them, They that are whole, all right, need not a physician, but they that are sick, and that's us, man. We're sick. The whole head is sick, man. We're through. But we're being healed, man. And that's the beauty of it. We've acknowledged that we were sick. We've acknowledged that we were through. A lot of our people don't want to let go of this world, man. They don't want to let go of being black. They don't want to let go of all of these different nationalities that Esau has told them is true. They look to Esau for validation, man. We're looking to Yahweh Bashim Shai for validation, man. Okay? But go ye learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance, man. And that's the tabernacle of David. You see, and also, we're going to receive the mercies of David. Because David, technically, when you read his story, technically, according to the law, he should have been dead. All right? And technically, according to the law, we should be dead. But the Lord, as he said, would give us the true, sure mercies of David, man. Let's get that, Isaiah 55. <clears throat> Isaiah 55 and 3 incline your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live and our souls are living in these latter days because of these words man and I will make an everlasting covenant with you even the sure mercies of David man and as David said blessed is the man on whom the Lord all right hath not imparted sin and in whom spirit is no guile, man. So according to the flesh, we should be destroyed. But if we're of the house of David, okay, we're going to receive the mercies of David, man. And we understand that starts with the 144,000. But under them, you have the rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord is going to have mercy on, man. Okay? <laughs> and it talks about the sure mercies of David in Acts 13 and 34. Because those Gentiles putting off those idols, you know, they technically should have been cut off from the nation of Israel if you go technically according to the law. But see, the spirit is over the law. The Most High, through Yahweh Shai, has the final say, man. So we're going to receive the, sh the, 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 uh, the sure mercies of David, man. Okay? And when you read David's prayer after those sins he committed and when he was confronted by Nathan, okay, what did he say? Psalms 51 and 1, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy love kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. So this is what the, the remnant will, will, will uh, Lord willing receive, man. Well, now, according to the scriptures, they are. We, we're just hoping, Lord willing, we're a part of the, the remnant, man. Okay? Second Chronicles 6 and 42, O Yahweh, turn not away the face of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of David, thy servant. You see, and that's what we need. You see, we need those mercies, man. Okay? This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. You see that? <laughs> I will leave in thee. Now, this is speaking of the remnant. I will leave also in thee 
in afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh, man. And that's us. Okay? The remnant of Israel shall do no iniquity nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. Now, if you look at it, if you've seen an afflicted and poor person, you would see all sorts of iniquity. You would see gal. You would be like, ugh. But see, that's who the Lord is dealing with. That's that tabernacle that is being rebuilt, that afflicted and poor people that are going to trust in the name of Yahweh in these latter days, man, through Yahweh Shai. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. We've been emboldened through the Holy Spirit, and then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of of such as have afflicted them, man. The teachers will not be removed into a corner anymore, man. And we're not afraid. We've been emboldened through the Holy Spirit, man. Sing, O daughter of Zion. And what are we singing? We're singing away. We're singing the new song, man. Which the 144,000 have been programmed through the Holy Spirit to sing. And that cannot be stopped, altered, or adjusted. Okay? <laughs> Be glad and rejoice with all thine heart, O daughter of Jerusalem, man. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast off thine enemy. The king of Israel, even Yahweh, is in the midst of thee, and thou shalt not see evil anymore. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Everything is getting ready to change, man. But before that, this devil is going to fight, squirm, lie kill steal and do even more wickedness to try to stop it but it's not going to work the lord is going to have we're, we're like a defense city the scriptures say the gates of hell will not prevail against the house of david man which that's when david was given uh, uh peter which is david was given that key the head of the church and the lord told him the gates of hell shall not prevail against you though we will be in an afflicted and destroyed state the spirit of the Lord got us, man. <laughs> and that day it shall be said unto Jerusalem, showing you it's a people before it's a place. Fear not thou into Zion, let not thine hands be slack, man. Okay, as uh, uh, you read in Zechariah the 8th chapter, man. Zechariah 8. In nine, thus saith Yahweh, let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days the words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built, man. Okay? So the, the, the very men who built the old temple are back building the spiritual temple, man. And each soul that has returned unto the Lord and repented, okay, and who are now abounding in the faith, Okay, is a is a stone, man, starting with the men to build the tabernacle of David, man. So we're good, man. We're that afflicted and poor people who are trusting in the name of Yahweh, man. <laughs> All right. Isaiah 14 and 32. What shall one then answer? The messengers of the nation. That Yahweh have founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it, man. See that? Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. All right? To proclaim liberty to the captives. And where are we ultimately captive at? In our minds, man. But we're in captivity to all of these damn heathen, to Esau, man. And op the opening of the prisons to them that are bound, and we were bound mentally. Our people, when you when you look at how they react to this word and us telling them that they're the Israelites, that's a result of them being bound in prison in their mind, man. We're the only people who you tell they're special, and they start bringing up everything else outside of that and get mad at you and start speaking of the heathen nations and that the, I'm, we're wrong and that's racist but you tell the so-called white man he's special and chosen you tell the so-called chinese he's special and chosen 
You tell all of the heathen that they're special and chosen. They're going to follow after it, man. <laughs> but you Israelites don't want to be special and chosen. That's because you've been bound and imprisoned mentally, man. But see, through this knowledge, we've been released from those lies, man. The truth shall make you free. We're no longer in captivity to those lies, man. And this is hurting the heathen round about. They're hurt to see that afflicted and poor people now have trust, now have hope in the name of Yahweh, man. Matthew 5 and 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? <laughs> James 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised of them that love him. You see that? Man. Psalms 37 and 40. And Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him, man. Okay? So, you know, I just wanted to go through that, man. The, the, the tabernacle of David are the afflicted and poor of our nation, who would have trust in the name of Yahweh through Yahweh Shah in these latter days, man? Okay, and 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 it, and it will not be stopped. Okay, as the brother said, man, the whole world is changing via this message, via the doctrine, via this truth, man. Okay, and it's only going to get better. Okay, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. But it's going to get better for the elect the whole time, man. We're going to find ourselves in some crazy situations, but the Lord is going to always give us a way, man. So Shalom, uh, you know, amen. House of David is on a rise. You know, the Bayaf Dawada, you know, uh, Ba, uh, the house, Yah uh, is the hand that holds. Tha is the Tharawa, covenant. So the house of David is the house in which the covenant will be restored unto the nation of Israel through. As the Lord said in Isaiah 55, I will give you the sure mercies of David and will make an everlasting covenant with you. So it's going to be through that remnant, okay, starting with the tabernacle of David, that everything will be restored unto righteousness, okay, to the nation of Israel. But, it's, but we're going to be overall an afflicted and poor people, man. So consider yourself blessed to hear this word, and work and to help build the tabernacle of David whatever way you can in these latter days, man. This is a beautiful thing, man. We're a diamond in the rough. Okay? Shalom.